race is on this weekend with the return of the European Rugby Champions Cup to the Liberty Stadium, where Rasa Metro with the opponents on Saturday afternoon at 3.15pm. Join us now at Landarcy Academy of Sport where we look ahead to the game in the company of Griff Rees, James King and Scott Baldwin. Scott, welcome back. Uh, how did you enjoy that last month with the Welsh team? Oh, it's been good. Uh, it's been a big learning experience for me. Obviously, um, going into three of the biggest, well, three, three of the big, big three games against the seven hemispheres, and then obviously Fiji was a real physical battle as well. Um, learned a lot from it. Um, I think I've progressed as a player and uh, got some real positives and some learning things out of it. Um, and obviously, to beat uh, South Africa on the weekend was a uh, massive achievement uh, from a personal point of view and from a team point of view. But um, now it's back to things here and uh, into another big game on Saturday against Rasen. You said it's a big game, it certainly is. You know, people talk about the intensity of international rugby, but when you're playing a team packed full of internationals like Rasen Metro, the intensity doesn't drop off a little bit, does it? No, I think it's going to be just as physical Saturday. You look at some of the specimens they've got on their team, they are big old boys, and uh, I expect nothing, uh, nothing less than a big physical battle Saturday, especially up front. And coming back from international camp, straight into a big game like that, how do you cope? What's the mindset? How do you deal with reintegrating? Oh, it was really good, actually. Steve spoke to us yesterday, said, how's the body, how are you feeling? Um, so we didn't do too much yesterday. We got about our business, learned what we needed to know. Um, and then today, we're straight back into, uh, into it and uh, getting a full day session under your belt was, uh, was really good. And uh, the boys were really sharp today. And with a big month of rugby, some huge games coming up, you know, in Europe and the Welsh derbies, it's crucial that we get off to a good start and put in a top quality performance on Saturday. Yeah, I think, look, we've got a good record against uh, the French teams at home, and it's something we're proud of, and it's something we look to build on, obviously, this weekend. Um, we've got a great home record this season, and we want to be positive and keep building on that and uh, keep playing the way we played uh, from the start of the season. And obviously, a win on the weekend would uh, put us in a good place in the group. And the fans have got a big part to play in that as well. Yeah, they've been massive this season. Um, we've had some great wins at home this year and uh, hopefully this will be another one for them to come and cheer us along. Every Monday until Christmas there'll be a new offer in the club shop for fans to take advantage of. This week, offer number three is 20% off all hats and scarves. Visit the club shop or go to shop.ospreysrugby.com now for the perfect winter warmer. The race is on in the European Rugby Champions Cup and tickets remain available for this Saturday's game against Racing Metro at the Liberty Stadium, kick-off 3.15pm. Supporters are also being urged to buy ahead for the Scarlets match on Saturday the 27th of December, as this game's already got the biggest crowd of the season confirmed, so buy now to avoid disappointment. You can purchase in person through the ticket office on the ticket hotline at 0844 815 665 or online at ospreysrugby.com slash buy tickets. Buy your tickets and print at home to beat the match day queues. Commercial partners, we've currently got three for two on all our hospitality boxes, giving you more rugby for your money. Meanwhile, our black and white lounge also takes a new Christmas theme this month, perfect for any last minute Christmas party bookings. For more information on all hospitality, please contact Amy Lewis now on 01792 616 507 or email amy.lewis at ospreysrugby.com now. Don't forget, next Wednesday the 10th of December, we've got Alan Wynne jones Andrew Bishop and Justin Tiberick in store at the Ospreys Club Shop from 4.30 till 5.30pm. They'll be signing the new 2015 Ospreys calendars, so make sure you come down to meet the players. Griff, big game this weekend, Racing Metro at the Liberty Stadium Saturday afternoon. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, we are. You know, I think it's uh, the games uh, you coach for, really. Uh, there's obviously a, a buzz around the place in that international boys have come back. Um, physically, I've just taken this toll, we've had to manage them. Uh, but there is an excitement around the group. Also, the group who've been out to Belfast and Dublin two consecutive weeks haven't got the results, but they've shown some admirable guts and effort in what we're doing and a smartness as well. So if we can take aspects of that uh, and match up to where we can get ourselves on the front foot against Racing, we hope it'll be a you know, fast, exhilarating game. What do you expect from one of Europe's biggest spenders, a team packed full of household names? You know, what kind of challenge do they present? 
tough physical challenge. Uh, they'll have a you know a, a sort of big physical front around the driving game. Uh, that'll ask some uh, big questions of us. So you know, regardless of structures and systems, you've got to impose yourself there and try and take away that that aspect of their game. Uh, and they have got a bit of a directness about them, but. Uh, there's a balance around their back line, which I, I certainly admire. You know the nines they've got, both ask questions. You know, Sexton is you know, up there with the, probably the top two tens in in the in the, the Northern Hemisphere, and you know around that, you know, you know Roberts uh, you know, certainly posed some direct questions in midfield, but Thomas. Uh, and Emoff and Doolin, you know, there's a really exciting back three there. So across the board, they've got a, a huge challenge to you know, everyone who puts on the shirt this weekend, uh, but also a coaching team who've uh, you know, got some good, smart, strategic thinking as well. And Saturday afternoon rugby in the traditional time slot, it's made for a perfect occasion for sporters, coaches, players alike. Yeah, yeah, it is. I, you know, I won't say uh, the fixtures have been kind to us. It's always difficult after the fourth international uh, in terms of getting players back and revving up. But it's a home game this week. Last couple of years we've had to travel away and put ourselves on the back foot, really. Uh, but then return to play home games in the Liberty and beat, beat the French champions uh, the last couple of years. So a similar intent and effort against uh, this quality Racing side. Uh, I think we'll certainly lift and uh, really drive our team home. Racing Metro double header. We've got some big games coming up at home, Ulster, the Scarlet, it's a huge month of rugby. Yeah, it is, you know, it's uh, you know, really interesting challenges for us on a coaching front, going back to back games and playing on the Ulster side. We had such a good battle with uh, a couple of weeks ago out in Belfast and of course the Christmas Derby speak for themselves. Um, can't wait to get into, into the comp competition this week. We're also you know, proud of what we're doing in the league this year. Despite us having a slight slip, uh, we're really looking to go for that Ulster game also. James, welcome back to the camp after a successful uh, week last week of Wales against South Africa. Pretty positive now looking forward to Racing Metro with the Ospreys this Saturday. Yeah, you know, uh, everyone's back here, we're raring to go for this week. And uh, we've got a big test this weekend and it uh, really is a must-win game if we want to stay in contention. People have written about the intensity of international rugby, but when you're playing European rugby against the likes of Racing Metro, it's not really a step down, so it's more of the same really, I would have thought. No, yeah, obviously it's, uh, it's a step up from the domestic league. But uh, no, I think we're in pretty good shape for it, to be honest. When you look at the Racing Metro squad and it's packed full of household names, is there anyone stands out for yourself who uh, you're looking forward to going head-to-head -head against? No, I mean, if you look at 1-15, they've got quality players. You know, you've got the likes of Jamie Roberts, loves a crash ball. You know, they've got the skill of Johnny Sexton, so we know what we need to do. So it's just a case of doing it on the day. Saturday's game is the start of a massive month for the Ospreys with Four European games, some Welsh derbies, and Ulster at the Liberty as well in the Pro 12. It's crucial now that we hit the ground running with some good results. No, exactly. If we uh, we can come away with the win of the weekend, we'll put us in good stead for uh, Racing away in the second fixture. And then obviously, you know, we've got Ulster and then the Christmas derbies against Scarlet, which you know everyone gets up for. So, yeah, no, it's a good couple of fixtures coming up for us. The last couple of seasons, we've played Toulouse and Castra. We've gone away the first leg after the fourth international. Good performances, but lost and then we've beaten them both at home the following weekend. Is there a benefit coming the other way around now that we can actually get off to that positive start? No, I mean, it's the same team you play home and away, really, isn't it? It's just, uh, it's just a case of doing right what we need to do, and then the rest will come. And it's a Saturday afternoon against Racing Metro. It's the perfect time for rugby. So when people like to be out and about in the traditional time slot, so it should be a good crowd. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's always great playing in front of a full crowd, and especially in the Liberty. So uh, hopefully everyone comes down and we can get the result. So for now, we look forward to seeing you at the Liberty Stadium on Saturday afternoon. Don't forget, the tickets are available to buy from all the usual outlets. Make sure you are there supporting the cause.